Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2006 guys. The given question is consider the relational, relational relation account. So the, we are having one table account with the customer name and customer balance. Okay, where customer is the primary key. Okay, so they are saying the customer name is nothing but the primary key and there are no null values. Okay, so we would like to rank customers according to their decreasing balance. Okay, so what we are trying to do guys, so we are here trying to find the reverse order, right? Okay, decreasing order means maximum to minimum. So let me write it here because we don't want to confuse in this particular thing. So, so maximum to minimum, we want to print their details, right? Yes. So the customer with the largest balance will get a rank one. Okay, he even explained that thing. Okay, ties are not broken, but ranks are skipped. Okay, so if exactly two customers have the largest balance, then they get rank one and rank two is not assigned. Okay, so this is a bit different, right? So just give me a second. If exactly two customers have the same rank or the largest rank, then each get rank 1 and rank 2 is not assigned okay so for them the rank will not even assign okay so now i'm getting idea okay so now they gave two queries okay so option one says that query one will produce the same row set as a query two for some but not for all databases okay so they are saying both of them will give different outputs okay so option two says that both queries of q1 and q2 are correct implications of specification okay means indirectly they give same outputs is what they are saying okay moving on option three says that query one is a correct implication of the specification and query two is not okay whereas four says that neither query one nor query two is correct implication of the specification okay option five says that assign assigning ranks with the pure relational query takes less time than scanning uh, scanning and decreasing balance assigning ranks using odbc okay okay so now they are asking which of the following statement is correct guys okay so first let us start checking the options guys the one thing which i am always uh, skeptical is about uh, how can a simple query do these kind of things guys uh, so they clearly told that if the ranks are matching uh, we should not give rank there so that's a bit uh, uh, complex thing according to my understanding right yes okay so let us uh, try to check the uh, queries uh, so query one says that select a dot customer name comma count b dot customer from uh, account a and account b okay so we are trying to duplicate both these accounts and we are checking whose balance is less than or equal to whose balance okay okay so this idea seems to be a bit good and we are grouping them by their customers okay okay that's a good method and when it comes to option b okay so in option b what we are doing is select a dot customer name comma one plus account of b dot customer name where account a and account b a dot balance is less than balance dot okay so balance dot b group by customer a so the only difference in between these two queries is so in this query we are not adding anything and we are checking less than or equal to here we are adding one and we skipped that less, equal to symbol here okay so to prove that both these databases are giving the same result or not same result i think if we test them it will be really easy right yes so let us take a small example and let us try to think about it guys i think for this type of problem so the thing is you need to take some good examples guys if you only if you end up with some good examples we can easily get the answer okay yes so let us start so assume that the customer name is a b and c so 100 200 and 300 okay okay so now moving on if we try so first of all i need to duplicate this table right so a 100 b 200 c 300 so this is a table a this is a table b right yes okay so now checking so now what we are doing is we are trying to select a dot customer name comma count of b dot customer name okay so now we are performing cartesian product in between them right okay indirectly that's what we are doing here so indirectly what will be the result guys so a hundred 
will be mapped with every one okay and we are checking a dot balance is less than or equal to b dot balance so is 100 less than 100 yes is 100 less than or equal to 200 yes is 100 less than or sorry is 100 less than or equal to 300 yes so basically this 100 is going to satisfy everyone right yes so 100 will be printed three times but as we are grouping it based on the customer name we are going to print 100 only once here like we are printing the customer names right yes so we are going to get only okay so i think this is query is a bit confusing right so just to give me a second so b dot customer count dot b dot customer and we are grouping by a dot customer okay so can customers have multiple balances here they clearly told that the customer is a primary key okay so anyway let us continue so we will print 100 for sure and similarly when it comes to 200 200 will not be less than or equal to 100 but it will be equal to 200 and it will be less than or equal to 300 okay similarly when it comes to 300 300 will be less than or equal to 300 so at the end we gonna get abc as the result so all of the customers will be coming here and the count will be i think uh, the count will be count of a b dot customer okay i'm having a confusion here guys so whenever they are trying to do this a b dot thing okay what are they trying to do exactly so are they trying to give the rank guys so if they are trying to give the rank i think that's absolutely wrong method of giving rank right okay so anyway let us try to understand so we are printing a b c for sure guys okay so with the a b c with the a it is going to satisfy less than or equal to for all so this is for three this is for two okay two and one three two one okay when it comes to this particular execution okay so here we are checking whether a is lesser than or equal to b so if it is less than you are going to add one point so indirectly for a okay so here also we are going to get the same output indirectly right a b c 3, 2 and 1. Okay. So for this particular execution, we got the same output. So can I take any kind of different case to get a different answer guys? They clearly told that the thing will be in different values also. right? So they, did they say that the balances should be in different values? They told that the customer name or customer thing is a primary key. And they told that no null values are allowed and the largest. Okay. So I think they did not say that, say anything about duplication, right? So consider the relation account okay so where a customer is the primary key and there are no null values we would like to rank customers according to their decreasing balances the customer with the largest balance get rank one uh, ties are not broken in the lines okay so they did not say well, duplicates are not allowed so for easy understanding let me take option person d is also for 300 okay so at that time when i am checking for person person a i will get a four here for this, I will get a 3 here. When it comes to C, I gonna get how much, guys? So, 300 will be equal twice. So, I will get a 2 here. And when it comes to D also, I will get a 2. Okay. And when it comes to the below part, for A, I will get how much, guys? 1, 2, 3. And I will get 4 here also because I am doing plus 1 here. So, here also I will get a 3. So, now when it comes to C, here, C should be less than none of them right so 300 greater value is not there so indirectly here we will get to one and similarly for d also we will get one so indirectly both of these are not exactly same guys right yes so i think both of these executions are completely different so with that i can conclude that option a is correct one is correct and two is wrong right yes and now they are saying the execution thing so now if i execute this in my brain so now what will be the result guys so the rank one should not be given to anyone so C and D will not get any rank. When it comes to B and A, B will get rank 3 and C will get rank 4, right? Yes. So I think none of them are executing that particular thing, right? So everyone is giving a particular rank. So I think we can conclude that both of these executions are also wrong. So we can conclude that 4 is also correct. So this option is wrong and this option is wrong. So basically 1 and 4 will be the correct answer. So C is the correct answer. Got it? Yes. Okay. So how did I solve this question exactly, guys? So first I thought I took unique values. So first I took 100, 200, 300, but then I, at that time I got both of them are working in the same way and they are giving the correct results. Then I thought that what if I give duplicate values because whenever there are duplicate values, we need to completely skip that particular rank. So that 1 and 0, sorry, 1 and 2 should not be printed. So to eliminate that, the only thing is possible is to include duplicate values. So that's what I have did and we got different values in both the cases. So I understood that one option is correct and to be clear, none of them gave the exact answer which we want. So indirectly, we can conclude that these both executions are also wrong. Got it? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.
like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you